Okay, so we're just going to look through uh, the new web console um, <coughs> or the um, web browser that's been introduced in uh, Environment Manager 8.2. Um, we can look at a kind of real life scenario now. So we've got a user on screen at the moment on the Windows 7 machine from our finance department and uh, they've just opened up the application uh, Adobe Reader which is coming via uh, App V. So the user has uh, discovered that they can move around some toolbars. Um, so as traditionally some users do, they're having a play with a new feature that they've uh, discovered. A uh, problem comes when uh, the user tries to undo what they've done or um, otherwise kind of change settings that, they, uh, that they're not familiar with. So this user is now trying desperately to either get the icons back where they're supposed to be um, and then end up just deleting them all. So now they're trying to uh, discover how to place them back where they're supposed to be and uh, in one last ditched attempt they're going to close the application they're going to reopen it again to see if that resolves the problem and of course when the, uh, when the application does pop back up in just a few seconds we can see that uh, of course the settings are uh, as they were when it was last closed. So from this uh, a call would traditionally come to the help desk and this is now what our first line support desk are going to be um, presented with. So this is the uh, the EM browser interface. So we're on the home page here at the moment. Um, as you can see, we've got a, uh, a description of recent activities that are listed um, on the front screen. And up on the top right, we've got uh, the different groups um, and different options that we can choose uh, from up there to administer. So our users friend support desk, they've explained the situation that uh, they have an application that's that's gone wrong for some reason. Um, in this scenario, of course, something the user's done. So we can just search by the user's username find the relevant one just here. Now all we need to do is ask them which application it is that they have a problem with. So in this instance it is Adobe Reader. All our support staff need to do is just select the appropriate application. We can see that we've got the archives uh, presented to us now. So these are the backups that we've taken of the application settings. All the user needs to do is make sure the application is closed. Um, traditionally they would have to log off uh, but of course with the way that Environment Manager works, the user doesn't, they can carry on working. And all we have to do is just simply choose the date we want to restore to and hit the restore button. So we're going to go to the 8th, restore this archive and after a few seconds we get the successfully restored archive message up. That's it from the support point of view, the user can now reopen the application again and when they do and when that fires up, we can see that it's back to how it was um, when the user originally opened the application earlier. So that's the uh, a very quick fire demo of the EM web browser and how that can help us to administer and support uh, staff from the first line.